Okay, so let us solve this question. So the the equation of the curves are y square equals to four x and y equals to two x. So if we uh, draw the approximate graphs, then we get this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Now the graph of y square equals to 4x will be like this. And the graph of y equals to 2x will be a straight line, which is like this. This is y equals to 2x. And this is y square equals to 4x. Now it is asked to find the area lying in between the curves. It means that we have to find the area of this region. Now, if we want to find the coordinate of this point, which is A, where the parabola, in, the parabola is intersecting the straight line, then we have to solve these two equations. Simply, it means that we have to put y equals to 2x in this. Then we get that 2x whole square, that will be equal to 4x. So it means that 4x square, that will be equal to 4x. It means 4 and 4 will get cancelled means we will get x square equals to x. Now if we solve it, then we get x square minus x equal to 0, then x times x minus 1 equal to 0. It means we will get x equal to 0 or 1. <coughs> it means the coordinate of this point will be 1, comma 2, 1 comma 2. Since y, if we put x equal to 1 here, then we will get uh, y equal to 2. Yes, okay. So it means that if we draw a straight line which is passing through the point A and which is parallel to the y-axis, the equation of that straight line will be x equal to 1 and it will intersect the x-axis at 1, 0. Now if we have to find this area, then the required area, that will be equal to the area uh, bounded by the parabola and the x-axis. Okay. area bounded by the parabola with the x-axis. Minus, I have to do area bounded by the straight line and the x-axis. Bounded by the straight line with the x-axis. Okay. So that will be equal to A. The area which is bounded by the parabola with the x-axis, it means we need to find the equation of that branch which is above the x-axis. That will be obviously y equals to 2 root x. Means if we solve this, then we will get y equals to plus minus 2 root x. Now the equation of the part which is above the x-axis that is y equals to 2 root x and the equation of that part which is below the x-axis that will be y equals to minus 2 root x. Now if you solve it then we will get integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, uh, 2 root x dx minus I have to do the area which is bounded by the straight line with the x-axis that will be from 0 to 1 uh, that is 2x dx. Okay, so that will, uh, will be uh, equal to, so 2 is a constant, so it will come outside of the integral, that will be 2 integral 0 to 1 root x dx minus, I have to do this 2 will come outside of the integral, that is 2 integral x dx from 0 to 1. Okay, so that will be equal to 2 times x power half dx, so that will be equal to x power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1. And it will go from 0 to 1. Minus 2 it will be x square by 2. And it will also go from 0 to 1. If you solve it, then we will get 2 times 2 by 3 times x power 3 by 2. So I will do 1 power 3 by 2 minus 0 minus 2 times half times this will be 1. Okay. So therefore, the area, the required area will be your 4 by 3 times 1 that is 4 by 3 only and 2 and half 2 and 2 will cancel out so 4 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 3 so the answer is 1 by 3 square units so the answer is option b okay option b is the answer thank you